Hi, I'm Ben. Um, we're in the middle of grailing season at the moment, so I'm going to tie you a few flies that I use when out there trying to catch some grailing. The first one is one that I came up with a few years back. It's slowly gaining popularity. It's probably my go-to um, nymph at this time of year, and it's a disco shrimp. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to tie it. What you're going to need is you're going to need some sticky back lead, which you cut down into small strips like that. You need some nymph skin. This is the translucent 3ml nymph skin. Rib. This is leaf green wire. Uh, I think green is very important. I've tried it with a few other different colours, but green does really well. So I think green is, if you've got it, use it. A brown sharpie and the dubbing. This is a mix of dubbing. Uh, the two dubbings I use are from Hairline. One is the UV shrimp pink and one is the Calibatus. And it's 70% shrimp pink to 30% Calibatus. And it gives you this, this lovely dubbing. And it looks, in, looks quite nice there, but in the water it totally changes color. So have a look at it in the water. But dubbing's very important. Thread-wise, I use an 8 but you can use a 6 as well. This is a rust brown, but a rust brown or an orange. I use both, it doesn't really matter which. And those are the, the key bits that you need. So, let's get on with it. So, what we have here is a Hanak 300 BL size 12. These are the hooks that I like to use when tying shrimps or shet nymphs. Really nice hook, got a bit of bend to them, but really strong. So, first of all, we need to weight the fly. And we do that using the sticky back lead strip that I've cut to about two mil thick. The thinner you can cut it, the better really. Start putting the lead on at the back of the fly and just wrap up, touching turns, making sure you cover the whole of the hook all the way to the top. Break it off. Then on a second layer, you start the second layer a little bit higher up the hook. So I'll start it about there. Same again. And you actually you finish it a little bit shorter than you finish the last one as well. So I'll finish it about there. And then I'll do a third layer. Again, start it a little bit further up the hook, wrap it round, and finish it shorter again. So, already you can see we've kind of got the shape of a shrimp appearing, just makes it a lot easier to tie. Thread goes on at the start with the head. And I like to just cover the body slightly in the thread, make sure all the lead's tied down. If the end of the lead kicks up, don't worry about it. Just make sure it's all stuck down. Now, the last thing that you do on the fly is your ribbit. So it's the first thing that you tie on. This is the leaf green wire as I said. Just put it onto the side of the fly, tie it on. Then you get your nymph skin and tie that on. So I start it at the top of the fly do one turn, make sure it's all caught in. And then what I do is I stretch the skin and tie it down. Just keep your finger on it, keep the pressure on, keep it stretched, tie it down. When you get to the end, you can stop. You want to get rid of this tag. So you put it tight, 
snip it. And that's that done. <coughs> Next is the dubbing. You want a reasonable amount of dubbing. So this is pre-mixed. So get a nice lump of dubbing. Extend your thread. Put the dubbing onto the thread. Just get a nice thick dubbing rope. Slide it up to the bottom of the fly. Make one turn and then it's caught in. So then you can tighten the loop up slightly. The loop, the rope, and go up. You want a bit of, you want the rope to be quite loose to get some good fibres sticking out everywhere. Come to the head of the fly, and there you go, that's the main body. Then we take the nymph skin and we pull it over. And we, what we want to do is cover the back. So this is a size 12, so when I pull the nymph skin over I don't have to stretch it that much. Obviously I'm tying a 16, the back's smaller so I have to stretch it a little bit more. But as it's a 12, and get away with not stretching it very much. So just make sure it's all nice and centered on the back. Flip one turn over, keep it tight, make sure that's all right. Do another couple of turns, then pull the nymph skin back, pull it tight, and start a little head. And then drop the nymph skin, bring in your whip finisher, and just do a couple of turns so that holds it tight. Then to get rid of the nymph skin, pull it tight, give it a snip, and that's nice and neat. As you can see, the back is covered quite nicely. <coughs> and the thread isn't going anywhere, so you're safe to sort of manoeuvre it around. Then what we do is the rivet. So you come up opposite way that you've put the dubbing on. Nice wide turns, making sure that you don't push the back too far round. So just keep centralising the back. Up to the top. A couple of turns. Break the wire off. Make sure everything's sitting right. Do a nice little head. Finish it off. So we're nearly finished now. What we need to do is get out your sharpie and colour in the back of the fly. So I start at the back. Colour all the nymph skin in and the top of the thread on the head. Make sure you get a good covering. Don't worry if you colour in a bit of the, the dubbing, it doesn't really matter. So there you go, that's that done. Then a little drop of varnish on the head. And then there are two things that I like to do here. Get a toothbrush that I've cut short. And then all I can do is just give the fly a bit of a brush. That gets the legs out, gets the dubbing sticking out, makes the fly look great. So now to finish the fly off, all I do is get a pair of pliers and crimp the fly. Just squish it together. As you can see, what I'm doing is just flattening it. That does two things. It makes the profile of the fly even more shrimp-like. And it means when you fish it, it cuts through the water just a little bit quicker. So although it's relatively light, it still cuts through the water really well and that's because of the thin profile and it's just a nice little tip 
and it just seems to catch a few more fish when I've done it. So get your pliers out and give it a squeeze. So that's how to tie the disco shrimp. It's a great fly for winter, great fly for grayling. I tend to fish it on the dropper, um, so it wafts around seductively in the current and I'll have a bead on the point. So give that a go on your dropper when you're fishing.